Well, hi again. I'm a Baptist pastor. I'm retired. I love talking to atheists. I do the Yellow Post. It's all over Facebook. You're more than welcome to use it. Today we're going to talk about the unicorn, the translation of a Hebrew word, riam. It's masculine in form. In the King James Version, for example, that Hebrew word, because the Old Testament was written in Hebrew, is translated for the English word unicorn. It literally means a one horn animal. And I can assure you, the unicorn is history. It's biology. There's simply no getting out of it. It's not the unicorns you're going to find at Disney. The Vulgate translates it as a single horn animal, the aurochs an extinct longhorn ancestor of the domestic cattle. It's highly possible. Do we know the exact animal? No. Can we point to a one-horn animal of various species? Absolutely. When the king of Assyria, Tiglapaleser, attacked Jerusalem and all the neighboring countries, he was commemorated with gifts on the black obelisk. You look it up, the black obelisk, and he was brought gifts of victory. And the gift of victory, as you can see on the black obelisk, is a one horn animal. We have three such examples of one horn animal. This may very well have been the aurochs of the Germans and the Eurus described by Julius Caesar in his book, The Gaelic Wars, a book he wrote as inhabiting a certain forest. The second thing we could look at, like I showed you, is the Assyrians who the king was honored with those gifts. Pliny the Elder was one of the very first naturalists, mentions a one horn animal, unicorns, that because he enjoyed naturalism. He was another David Attenborough, Attenborough. What we have here is we have an extinct Siberian unicorn. The word means a one horn animal. The Elas Monotherum Sibiricum, Sibiricum, sometimes referred to as a Siberian unicorn, had a horn that was likely multiple feet long, long. Only partial remains of this unicorn has been found. It's sitting in a museum and it was already published in the American Journal of Applied Science. Now don't forget when you're reading a Bible translation, you're just reading a translation. And my friends, I just wanted you to know that you can trust the King James Version of the Bible that has translated the word unicorn. So the next time a atheist mocks you thinking that the unicorn there is something that comes from Disney. Remind him that even today, the rhinoceros in his Latin name ends with the word unicornus, unicornus. Anyway, it's the Yellow Post. I absolutely enjoyed talking to you today. Oh, hey, hey, by the way, the unicorn was depicted on ancient seals of the Hindu Valley civilization and was mentioned by ancient Greeks in the accounts of natural history by various writers like Strabo, Pliny the Younger, Alien, and my friend, the Bible. <laughs> you betcha. We, my friend, can trust the writings of God's word.